from my perspective, Whitney and Lacey are so inseparable that whoever Lacey ends up with has to be incredible and they have to fit in with the family. And, you know, I, I'm happy to say that we've definitely landed on that type of situation solution here with Aaron. Uh, it was, uh, you know, there were a few duds along the way, Lacey, but Aaron is clearly <laughs> not a dud. I want to hold her, I want to kiss her. I was going to talk about Aaron, but after seeing Lacey tonight, I think talking about Aaron is a little questionable, <laughs> considering how beautiful she looks and how lucky this man should be. She truly is an incredible girl, and uh, Aaron's very lucky to have her. I love this guy. He's a truly incredible person. He's an amazing father to his daughter, Anna. He's an amazing boyfriend, soon to be husband, to his lovely fiance and he's an amazing friend to his best friends and uh, I'm just so happy to be here and to be able to call him one of my best friends. I remember being 16 or so and Aaron always being fashion forward all of a sudden started wearing fur coats, <laughs> really nice tight-fitting cashmere sweaters, uh, silk shirts. Uh, it was very cool. Everyone thought that Aaron was very cool for wearing all this stuff. But I asked him, Aaron, dude, where are you buying all this stuff? And uh, he turned to me and he said, on the low, so on the lowdown, don't tell anyone, but the illest, the best place to uh, shop, I found is my mother's closet. <laughs> and eventually I actually even thought about it. I looked at my mom wearing a sweater one day and I was like, that sweater is kind of nice. I could maybe, but no. No, I'm not stealing my mom's clothing. You know, in the past couple of years, I, Lacey and I would drive back and forth to the Hamptons at times, and she, she would say, I really don't ever want to get married unless I find somebody I can't live without. And then if I find that person, I'll want to be married. So. Um, I think that this has happened because here we are. Some wise man said that a, um, a successful marriage requires falling in love many times with the same person. So I wish you, Lacey and Aaron the best and many, many times in love. Yeah.